Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. Donation bonus league day again. We're doing a lot of these. I have to up the prices here. We got, yes, the uh, demand is demand is outstripping supply. But um, it's a good problem to have, you know. Million little e, our donation bonus league superstar. Got to put John through college. Million little e, you the bomb. Thank you. We got a we got a great one here too. Million little e, not only does donation bonus leagues often. He always picks cool ones. So we got a wild one here. We got vintage Crack Clan Ironworks. So of course anyone who plays modern is familiar with this deck. Uh, Crack Clan Ironworks combo deck uses Crack Clan Ironworks to make a bunch of mana. And you have uh, a scrap trawler and you do lots of loops. I don't know how the deck actually works kind of. But I don't involve scrap trawler and KCI. And you sack stuff and get stuff back and sack stuff and get stuff back. Eventually, in paper, you would establish some sort of a loop where you'd be making infinite mana and draw your deck or infinitely recur pirate spell bomb and kill your opponent. But uh, on Magic Online, we don't have that luxury, so we just play one ever cool. Make life easy, you know? But um, most of the modern staples are here. You know, we got Ironworks and Scrap Trawler and Wellspring and Mirror Retriever, the Star, Chromatic Star. Terrarian, etc., etc. But in Vintage, we get uh, a little bit of an upgrade. You know, just the casual Black Lotus, you know, Moxes, Soul Ring, you know, maybe a, a Mishra's Workshop or two, Ancient Tomb, you can get some Artifact Lands, and a Tolarian Academy. So, pretty big power boost here. The question, of course, is. Is this deck playable in Vintage? I have no idea. I don't play Vintage. But we're going to dive right in and find out. Um, I'm a little scared because we have no way to beat a Null Rod. We have Nature's Claims in a sideboard, but we don't actually have a way to cast a Nature's Claim through a Null Rod, if I am correct. Tree of Tails, Moxes, Chromatic Stars. That's scary. Um... I don't know a lot about Vintage, but I know Null Rod is one of like the pillars of the format. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. For those who don't know, Null Rod is basically Stony Silence, but it's a two-mana artifact. And uh, it's a very powerful card in Vintage because it turns off all the moxes and stuff. Could be a problem. Um, what are we going to do? You know? Sideboard's got Nature's Claim, Gutter Ball. I suppose we can board in Worm Coil Engine against Null Rod and just cast it off our workshops, maybe. I don't know. Grab the Gritch Cage against Dredge. Tormod Script. Million Little says it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm not worried. You shouldn't be either. Vintage KCI. Let's we'll just dive right in. We'll just dive right in. Poll time. Vintage League has 120 players in it. Sounds good to me. Hopefully some of those players are really active right now. So, poll time. Poll time. It's going to be a little different than our usual poll. Our usual poll is how many matches is a deck going to win? I'm going to say, how many games are we going to lose to Null Rod? Poll, 60. Cash your vote in chat. How many games are we going to win, lose to Null Rod? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or more. How many games are we going to lose to Null Rod? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or more. <laughs> More. We'll see. We'll see. I think we'll be all right. This deck looks super sweet. I'm stoked. Um, I don't. I don't play vintage very often. Uh, I played a few live vintage tournaments. I don't know, like six, seven years ago, maybe. I made the finals of one of them. It's like a seventy-person tournament. Um, I've not played vintage really at all the last like five years. I played one vintage league uh, for a donation bonus league somewhat recently I think it was for Million Little I don't even recall what deck it was um, it was Vintage something or other Vintage vs. Todd that's true I played Vintage on the Versus series too um, what did we play what was, what was our Vintage deck I don't even remember 
I have the worst memory. It was something like... Some weird... Oh, Doomsday. Right, it was Vintage Doomsday. Um, and that was fun. Nice, challenging Doomsday deck. But um, I the one I top eight When I played Vintage like five or six years ago, I played like two or three tournaments. There's a pretty big Vintage scene on Long Island. I'm not sure if that's still true, but there was a pretty big Vintage scene on Long Island. I played like the Blue Black, whatever like the... You know, the Time Vault Mana Drain Fair deck was. Um, lost a dredge in the finals. Uh, my opponent was like a 13 year old kid who wouldn't split. And like, at the time I was like playing on the Pro Tour and I was like, you know, the, the pro in the store. 13 year old kid wouldn't split and beat me. I was impressed. I was impressed. He molded like three game two and beat me too. Is crop rotation worth playing here to get to Larian Academy? I don't think so. I mean, like, we only have 13 lands, and they're all really good, you know. They either make a lot of mana, or they tap for green, so. Is it most a vintage reanimator and outcome? I have no idea. I could not tell you. I am very, very out of touch with the current vintage metagame. Um... We have some main deck defense grids, kind of like that. So against uh, Force of Will decks and things of that nature. We have main deck explosives, so we can blow up some stuff. Uh, Nature's Claim, Gutter Balls, a lot of Graveyard Hate, some Worm Coil Engines. Ooh, Worm Coil Engines. So that the poll, uh, everyone thinks we're going to lose between two and three games to Null Rod. It's not bad. What's up, huge... Hugh Jackman. Paradoxical outcome needs to be restricted. Maybe. Yeah, Dredge is just a deck that mulligans to, uh, to Bizarre. That's it. Right, Burnsy? Right, Burnsy? Everyone say good morning to Burnsy. Burnsy! So those who noticed, I had the uh, Diablo music playing on the intro. And I watched a really cool video yesterday. Uh, while I was doing my YouTube video stuff, um, let's see if I can find it. It was basically like an hour long video of the creator of Diablo just talking about making the game. Here it is. Uh, oh, it. New sub, Randy. What's up, Randy? Randy, my friend, what's your name? Where are you from? How long are you playing Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important, what's your name? Where are you from? And. Your puppy name, please. Thousand subs. Get Nicole puppy. Here it is. I posted on the post right in chat. Check that out at some point. And then uh, Dale the whale. Two month resub. That's an important month. Month number two is the important one because you're back. The only thing better than a new sub is a returning sub. Welcome, Randy. Rewelcome, uh, Dale. And hopefully we can get into a match here because Vintage is not a super popular format on Magic Online. And I was hoping this wouldn't be an issue, but that's okay. Sweet promotion. Nice, Xerox. While we're waiting, we can do uh, a little Jim Davis Ask Me Anything. That is right. AMA. Go nuts. Ask Me Anything. I'm playing... I'm trying to play Vintage on Moda, and I've got time to kill. Ask me anything. I own a gerbil who is lumpy and sleeping. Ask me anything. I drink water out of a Star Wars cup. Ask me anything. I picked first in my 20-team fantasy football league full of magic ringers. Ask me anything. Uh, last night's NFL game was uh, pretty sloppy. And Nicole, Nicole whined and cried the entire night that uh, Nicole's in a league where you have two keepers, but you can only keep a player for three years, and they're in their fourth year, and she had Julio Jones for the first three years and couldn't keep him this year, and all she did was whine all night about how good Julio Jones was. Um, all right, Randy from South Dakota. Favorite card, Bloodbraid Elf. Favorite deck is Shards Block Jund. Puppy name, BBE. I like it. Welcome, my friend. 
All right. Goober asks, should I give up on Bogles? Uh, I don't think so, Goober. You know, I don't think so. Uh, what's the hybrid card in our sideboard? Gutter Ball. The Gutter Roll Response. Counter Target Blue Instant Spell. Uh, cake or Death? What? Watching any of GP Richmond? Uh, a little bit, not really. What do I think of the HIS HE Star Wars video? I don't know what that is. Do penguins have knees? I don't know. I think Hasbro is going to kill magic with their marketing tactics. The Planeswalker Masterpiece set. I mean, the Planeswalker Masterpiece set is like pretty far down a list of dumb things that Hasbro's done. Right? Like, who cares? It's stupid, sure. We got Chubbs. We did. Yeah, Julio was insane last night. Um, if I can completely change the color of any one magic card to another, what color would you pick and what color would you change it to? True name nemesis, it'd be white. Really easy one. Um, true name nemesis makes no sense as a blue card. I actually tweeted at Mark Rosewater and Aaron Forsyth once. Didn't get an answer on why the hell is true name nemesis blue. Blue does not get protection effects. Blue is not supposed to get good creatures. White is supposed to get good cheap creatures. And white is the best protection color. So why the hell is... Trinity Nemesis blue instead of white. Can anyone give me a good answer? I bet you can't. I bet you can't. Uh, yeah, vintage. We we actually flew last time. There was no there was no wait last time. Really, I don't know why um we're having trouble now. But that's okay. Ask me anything. How do I feel about new Ral Zarek in standard? The card's pretty good, but it obviously operates in the same sphere that Teferi does. It's very similar, but worse than Teferi. So it depends on on you know what colors are playable and stuff. Um, have I like being on Team BCW so far? It's great. It's great. Love all those guys. The team is nice and simple. Um, Rick does a great job running the team. Rick's our manager, and the team is great. All the guys in the team are great. It's awesome. Team BCW is awesome. My most hated deck in modern, um, probably Ironworks. Which is obviously ironic because we're playing the vintage version right now. But yeah, I, I find Ironworks pretty frustrating. Um, who's going to win Survivor Football? I don't know. We'll find out. Um, well, you just it just shouldn't be a Merfolk. It should be like a Knight or something or a, a something else, you know? Trinity Trin Nemesis makes no sense at all. No sense at all. They desperately wanted to print Trinian Nemesis, but it was too strong in the white commander precon. No white card is too strong ever. Um, favorite goblin card that doesn't have the type goblin? Drawn Lose Crusade. This is fun. Just ask me anything. Just keep going. I think Surveil is insane. Surveil is a new Demir mechanic. It is essentially scry, but the card goes into your graveyard as opposed to on the bottom of your deck. Uh... A lot better off in your graveyard. Surveil is a very, very powerful mechanic. Most expensive card burns you shoot up. There you go. Here's this is the Burnsy Hall of Fame. Burnsy Hall of Fame, we got well Rogue Refinder's not really that expensive, but one Tassig of a Golden Fang. Focus. One Needle Spires, one of Stone Standard, and one Aether Works Marble. These are the, the Burnsy files here. Burnsy's about a year and a half old. He's about, about middle age. Right, Burnsy? We got a match. We got a match. Is the new Dissolve better than Disallow and Standard? Absolutely. Uh, the new Counterspell, it's a Counterspell Surveil 1, is very, very good. It's even better than or Dissolve, whatever. The one that's Scryed, because Surveil is much better than Scryed. All right. Is the market in the market for better sleeves? Yeah, BCW Supplies. BCWsupplies.com for all your gaming needs. All right, Workshop, Ruby, Stirrings, Double Terrarian, 
yeah, let's keep. We're on the play, right? Let's go. Vintage time. Are they going to print Surveil 2, Draw 2? Maybe. What does Burnsy eat besides magic cards? Well, Burnsy doesn't actually eat magic cards. Uh, Burnsy just chews on them. But he eats seeds and peanuts and things like that. Assorted gerbil food. Um, so we can just go like Ruby, Workshop, Terrarian, Terrarian. Or we can go Stirrings, Ruby. I feel like getting the Terrarians in play is better. We can start looking at more cards. Yeah, I'll just go Workshop, Mox. Uh, three, three mana costs, Surveil 2, Draw 2 would be broken. It's got to cost four. Like, they could just make a new Glimmer of Genius to make it four, you know, blue blue and three, instant, surveil two, draw two. Be cool. All right, so... Kind of wish we had chromatics. I guess the star isn't better than that. All right, well, that's a start. We're uh, off to the races next turn. Yeah, I mean, they probably, if they, if they make that glimmer, it's probably just cost blue, blue, and two. Um, just blue, blue, two. Surveil, two, draw, two. That card would be very good. Ancient Tomb. Yes, correct. Workshop cannot be used to crack the eggs. But we got these lands and stuff. We're good. Three blue, black, instant, surveil, one, draw, three. That's very similar to Jace's Ingenuity, my favorite card ever. One of my favorite cards ever. Uh, Lord Draken, one blue, surveil three, draw one, is better than Brainstorm. So, that card's busted. <laughs> that's, Lord Draken, that's just strategic planning. <laughs> Mostly. It's better than, better than strategic planning. Alright, Phyrexian Revoker. Shit. Um, okay. Well, I guess the name's Terrarian here. It's... If the name Ironworks, we can't, we can't win the game, right? With explosives. They've named Terrarian. So, hopefully we'll Stirrings into an Ironworks. Oh, it's Evercool. Okay. Ancient Stirrings. There's an Ironworks. All right, well, we're kind of off to the races here. We get to resolve Ironworks and then draw two cards and make four mana. I don't know where we go from there, but... So do we, do we sack these now? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Can't use Workshop to cast Emrakul. So I guess we just sack some stuff, right? Chromatic Star. Right. Chromatic Star. Waitings for Trumps. Mana Crypt. Mm, Chromatic Star. Could make a green here. So you have a green and four colors floating. Because we're not really like getting anywhere though, right? Maybe we should stop here and wait wait till next turn. The problem is if they cast like Trinis I guess they they cast like Trinisphere or Sphere or Are we there yet? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh yeah, we are. That's cool. That was easy. Man, Ironworks makes a lot of mana. Ten, yeah, it's just uh, that's just lethal. Oops, what am I doing? Lol. It is not lethal, it is true. We do not actually have lethal yet. 
Oh, Black Lotus. Annihilator trigger. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, that's cool. Welcome to Vintage, everyone. It's casual turn to Emmercool, NBD. That was easy. Million Little E broke the format. Donation Bonus League. If you're still here, welcome to the stream. We're playing Vintage Crack Clan Ironworks. Donation Bonus League for Million Little E. We're playing against some sort of a uh, Staxi deck. I guess we want these Nature's Claims and this Worm Coil, maybe. Chill on these defense grids and chill on like maybe some of the graveyard stuff. I don't like these tops either. I don't like pirate spell ops necessary either. I guess they have um that stupid thingy. Uh revoker they just played. Well gutter ball is is you can't cast a, a blast off a of tree of tails. So gutter gutter response basically costs a green. Vintage KCI, what's up, my friends? Welcome, what's up, Neil? How's it going, everyone? Welcome. Uh, like, like they might have graveyard hate of some kind. Cut like I, I have no idea what to cut. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I got nothing. I think I want these worm coil engines. Um, cut the tops. Uh, sure. Let's do that, I guess. I imagine, like, if they're playing Phyrexian Revokers and uh, Lodestone Golems and stuff, that Worm Coil is just pretty sweet. Lobmancer, uh, that was my first thought. I agree with you. Um... <laughs> We can't beat a null rod. We did a poll at the start of this. How do we beat a null rod? We decided we couldn't. Opponent mulligans. Do I keep? I don't, I don't. I don't know. I guess keep. We have turn one claim. The spell bobs kill the uh, revokers, so I think spell bobs important. I have no idea if his hand's bad or not, but we have a nature's claim and mana. And a worm coil. You can cast worm coil as early as turn three, possibly. Yeah, we, we can tap for green with it on a stack. Seer resistance. All right. So we get to go. Emmer cool. Hello, Emmer cool. We just play star. We have claim. I mean, they log into to five. So the sphere is going to slow them down too, probably. Mistress factory, sure. Another sphere, sure, it's fine. Scrap patroller. Okay. I think I like like an end step nature's claims. A two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's just uh hmm. And how good is Black Lotus with, with Scrap Trawler? Right? Jeez. Jeez. Um I guess that there really is no need to yeah, all right, sure. I'll play Scrap Troller. There isn't necessarily a need to uh, to kill a Sphere yet. The Sphere is slowing them down, too. Two, four, five, six. One Aether Flux Reservoir? I don't think so. Like, we'll just draw to Larian Academy, you know, and cast the Worm Coil. All right, they have a Wasteland. That's annoying. We got the Beats, though. We could actually go for an attack, and if they try and block a factory, we could just like kill the factory. 
Soul Ring's not bad. Um, Soul Ring costs three. That's okay, though. So Soul Ring costs three. And then it just makes the mana to cast Nature's Claim if we need it. So we have three mana. So let's attack. The yeah, Tolerant Academy is not exactly fair. All right, they're just letting us have it? Sure. Double Mistress Factory. They're at 13. Again, they are under the sphere. They're their own spheres. We have two, three, four, five, six. Another sphere. I still don't think we care. Like, they're at 11. We're just going to beat him down. Pirate Spell Bomb, sweet. That'll cost four, right? Four mana Pirate Spell Bomb. Not sure what their plan is here. Um, so they can. Now they have two blockers. We attack. They animate a factory. We nature's claim it. They animate a factory. We spell bomb it. They pump it. So that doesn't work. So I guess we. I mean, maybe we just trade scrap trawler for a factory and just get back a, a star and just keep going. I think it's fine. I might actually just spell bomb them. All right, wait, they, they can pump twice. Actually, hold on. This is this is stupid. I forgot how Mistress Factory worked. Um, it just tap, right? It's not like Moth Nexus. Yeah, Mistress Factory is really really good. Okay, so we can just like Nature's Claim it. It's fine. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna kill. We're just gonna kill both. Hmm. Okay. I don't really think this went through. Um, claim a factory. They activate the other factory. They can block, and then we trade. Trading's not great. We have two, three, four, five. We have six mana right now. We need ten mana to cast Worm Coil Engine. Yeah. Um. So what's um? What's claim? Let's uh, guess we gotta save red for spell bomb. So this gains them four too, which is kind of a tilt. I guess I'm an idiot. Yeah, I'm real bad. I screwed up. So that pumps that. And then we, if we shoot it now, they have to pump it and it can't block. If we let it block, we can we can trade. Um Yeah, I think we're going to maybe just shoot it. Shoot it, make them tap it, it can't block, just get in for three. You used to call me on my Draw Tree of Tails. Deal two to that. I think they both I think they've both been in play for a while. Oh no, it died. Didn't have was it was it something sick? All right, well this is good for us then. What's up, potato? You folks shooting in? Welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. We're uh, we're derping around today with some vintage Crack Clan Ironworks. That's right. We are doing a donation bonus league for Million Little E. 
Made it a little easier. I put my kid through college, and uh, now they're gonna die to a scrap troller. So I guess that had summoning sickness. I didn't. I thought they. I thought. I thought it was already in play for a turn. No, it had been in play for a turn. I don't know what they're doing. Honestly, I don't know why they didn't do anything. I don't know what they were doing. We won. All right. And uh, new sub, Saint. What's up, Saint? What's your name? Where are you from? How long have you been playing Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important, what's your name? Where are you from? And your puppy name, please. Thousand subs. Get Golden John a puppy. Everyone welcome our brand new sub with some love and chat. If I don't see love in chat, I'm going to get mad. And uh, while we're waiting for our matches, we're doing a simple Ask Me Anything. My name is uh, Jim Davis. I'm a Magic player. I'm playing Ironworks and Vintage. Ask Me Anything. I own a gerbil who sleeps live on the internet. Ask Me Anything. Oh, never mind. Don't ask me nothing. A good white removal spell? I don't know. Seal away is pretty good. Like seal away is definitely high bar for good kill spell. How many subs to upgrade the puppy to an ostrich? Thirty thousand. We got mox, 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 trawler, retriever, wellspring. I'm the opponent mulligans. I'm just keeping. Is there a scenario where you would want the car, a copy of the card break open in your hand? That's the one red, one colorless, flip a, a morph, right? My gerbils have eaten a lot of copies of that card over the years. Favorite card each format right now? I don't know. Factor Fiction and Vintage, Goblin Ringleader and Legacy. Uh... Glimmer of Genius and Standard and Modern. Tower Tracker. Do we just win? We don't, we, don't have, we don't have anything right now. We don't have a Ironworks. Oh god, we're getting dredged. They kept a full seven with the Bazaar. Ugh. This hand is a lot of mana and a few card draws. Imp Imp Therapy. Alright. Workshop. Working on it. Wellspring. Can I do educational commentary? I'm new. Well, I don't play vintage basically ever. So we are flying by the seat of our pants here. Basically, we're playing an Ironworks combo deck that puts a bunch of artifacts in play, then sacrifices artifacts to make a bunch of mana, and then draws a lot of cards, and then hopefully casts an Emmercool. I think Turbo Fog will be existent after rotation. Yes, but it won't, won't be a Fog deck, probably. So, Explosives on zero kills their zombies. But we obviously have all these Moxin. So we can't really play Explosives on zero. But... I don't know. Stuff. Like, we can't just not play our stuff. Like, I want to, like, have our mana out and play a Trawler, so if I draw KCI, I just win. Right? Like I don't think we, I don't think we can afford to play defensively. They have therapies and stuff. We need to get the things out of our hand and into play. So I mean, if you draw KCI or Stirrings. Next turn, we're in great shape. Um, why are we not playing like a recall? Is there not enough blue sources for recall? This deck should definitely have a recall and a time walk in it, right? Like, we've got eight. We have Sapphire, Academy, Mox Opal, Lotus, four Chromatic Spheres, four Terrarians. That's enough for recall, right? Just one, like, take out the two spell bombs, I mean, two, the two tops, just put in one recall and one time walk. Um, 
um, well, they are. I mean, the the, se the secret's out now. So, retrieve it for mana, and EE would have been better this turn. We're gonna get therapy them. We're not gonna beat them by killing four zombies. They're just gonna make more zombies next turn and kill us. You know, if anything, we want an EE on two to destroy our retriever and our our mocks. I mean, our our wellspring. So. Hopefully next turn we can just go Retriever, Explosives, blow up Wellspring and Retriever, and do some stuff. All right, there's Bloodgast, and we're not going to Grave Troll. I mean, their hand is really good. This is a full-on, full-on uh, dredge power hand here. Cabal Pit. Woo! Cabal Pit's a card. Icarid. Those, those are unfamiliar in Vintage uh, Dredge. Is completely based around this card, Bazaar of Baghdad. Just a totally busted land. Just tap to draw through and discard three. So you just cast Careful Study every turn, basically, and dredge your entire deck in like two turns. It this card is so important to Vintage Dredge. It actually plays for Serum Powder and just Mulligan. You like this deck will not keep a hand without Bazaar of Baghdad. Is it, I believe this is. I guess this is not necessarily Manalist Dredge. Usually they have like Petrified Fields and they have Bizarre Baghdad and they have mostly no lands. This deck's playing a Cabal Pit and a Dakmore Salvage, but who created Dredge? Like the the mechanic or like the, the deck type? Because I have no idea on either. So I don't know why I don't know why I asked. I could have just said I have no idea. Saint. Uh Emil? Am I saying that right? Emil or Emil? Emil? Please, please correct me in chat so I can get it right. From Sweden. We have a card, Wild Nakato. We have a deck Standard Aristocrats. Playing since Innistrad, being competitive, and a judge since RTR. I've watched every video you've posted in the last year. Wow, thanks. Uh, thanks for the great content. Thanks for watching. Puppy named Karn. Sweet. The deck type? I honestly don't know. I am not a historian in that regard. Emil? Or M? Emil. I don't, I don't know what the last thing I said was. Is it Emil? I'm very bad with, with, with pronunciations, so I'm very... They play main deck Ravenous Trap? Jeez. Always very cautious about pronouncing things wrong. Alright. Here we go. They're casting a ball therapy. If they name one of the cards in our hand, they are definitely stream sniping. So I could not imagine them naming Mirror Retriever or Explosives. I imagine they should probably name Ironworks. I guess. Can't really think of another card. Arcbound Ravager. Not even close. I love when your opponent names a card that's not even in your deck. And they have no other things. So we're actually in reasonable shape here. Ooh. Ooh. We could win turn two here, folks. Can I get a chant for Ironworks in chat, please? Chants for Ironworks. Chant for Ironworks in chat. No! That's still. Um, okay. Well, opponent is lame. We don't like our opponent very much because they're rude. Let's uh, just play this mirror retriever, I guess. And we're gonna play explosives on two and pop it to kill their bridge. Mize. Maybe we just pop it on their turn. Like after they dredge. Um. Wait. Not uh, oh no, I'm not to do that. Crap. Did I screw up? No, I didn't screw up. Because we have one mana to cast artifact spells, but it's a colorless mana. We can't use that mana to activate the explosives. That sucks. 
All right. I guess I didn't screw up. We just, yeah. We drew stirrings and, and had to cast that and get it countered. If we didn't draw stirrings, we would have, have done this the other way. Um, okay. Yeah, I guess we're just playing explosives for two and saying go. Pay for three, even. X is three. All right, so, and now we're just chilling and just hoping we draw Ironworks next turn. I mean, they can't really stop us. Like, their interaction is limited to Cabal Therapy and stuff like that. So, now you can't use Workshop Mana on abilities. Mish Workshop is a land that taps for three mana, but only for artifact spells. Red return, only one bridge. Playing hollow ones, too. That's two bridges. That's bad for us. Now he might be dead. They get a Narc Amoeba. They don't have therapy. They have red return, though. <sighs> yep, lady, this, this, is not how I, this is not how I wanted to start my day. This is how a million little wanted to start my day. Can this deck be Graveyard Hate? What, my opponent's deck? I mean, they have that in mind, yes. You put it on zero, and then we destroy all our moxes, and we're not really getting anywhere. Like, we're not going to die to... Like, if we die to the zombies, we die to the zombies. If I put the thing on zero and kill our moxes, we don't have a chance to win otherwise, so... V! What's up, V? New sub, V. What's your name? Where are you from? How long have you been playing Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important, what's your name? Where are you from? Puppy name, please. Yeah, we're dead. It's 3 6, 520. Yep. Alright. I mean, that sucks. We had the. I guess we can't even look at our top cards, unfortunately. If there was an Ironworks in our top five and that starting is resolved, we won that game pretty easily. Oh, we can do it now. Alright, nope. Just defense grids. Tilt. Alright, so... We bring in a bunch of graveyard hate. Yay! Take out explosives. Defense grid. Top, I guess. I mean, they can't really have much hate for us. Because there aren't that many... They could have, like, Ravenous Trap or something, but... They're bringing Hollow One and Gurmag Angler. Alright, well... What are you gonna do? If you're sitting in, welcome to the stream. My name's Jim Davis. Vintage! This is only the second time we've ever played Vintage on stream. Donation Bonus League. Vintage Ironworks for KCI. If you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, of course, you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Nature's Claim, sure. You gotta work on our sub hype. I have to yell at you guys again. Alright. We're a big family here, alright? We're all awesome. And everyone who subs is awesome and now I'm part of the family. We have 700, and, I'm sorry, we have 478 subs, all right? We got to show some love to each other when we get new subs. You welcome them and say hi, put some of those uh, Jim D sellouts in chat, and come on now, let's be welcoming. This hand is pretty good. Um, there's no mocks in or anything, but I mean, like, they can't therapy us on turn one, most likely. So, we're good here. Bottom mulligan six. Mulligan's to five. And dredge usually mulligans till they find a bazaar. So, uh, Viola is fine. Sweet. Playing is unlimited from New York. Favorite card. There's a lot. Maybe Yagamas Bargain. All right. So, Ange Tomb. Mox, Opal, Wellspring. Mm, 
Let's draw a Mox Emerald. Lots of tilt. Um, could have played that. I guess we had no way to know we were drawing that, obviously. So, all right. Almost there. They get their one turn to, to set up. And hopefully they can't do much. And then we get to play a bunch of stuff. Turn one, hollow one. Chromatic star. Okay. So... We get to cast Ironworks, if we want to. And then we can do some stuff. Nah, no GP Detroit. This is a donation bonus league for a million little E. We should cast Ironworks or start doing stuff. Yeah, cool. Sounds good to me. Let's cast Ironworks, start doing stuff. Don't think we really care about Graph Digger's Gage. Um, we care about winning the game. You play to win the game. Hello. So now we probably win. I just have to figure out how the hell to do it. So give me like 10 minutes here, right? Um, I probably should sack the land. That was dumb. All right. Well, I'm learning here. Mana Crypt's cool. Man, all these vintage cards are really, really good in this Ironworks deck. But I don't have anything good to. I can sacrifice the Mox, right? Sacrifice the Mox. I guess the Mana Crypt makes more mana, right? So play Chromatic Star. Sack it for green. Scrap Trawler, get back Mana Crypt. Someone else play the drums for me while I do this. Or read some Shakespeare or something, please. Oh, that's insane! Um... Counter this. No, they're they're F6. Stirrings for Acre Wellspring. No, a scrap trawler. A scrap trawler gets back everything. Yeah. And a crypt. Sacrifice this thing. Get back. Make your wellspring and chromatic star. Cast this thing. An ironworks? That's pretty insane. Ironworks, sacrifice that. Get back. Chromatic star. Draw a cage. Play star. Play star. You're getting a little, little turn two action here. Get back Lotus. Play Lotus. Get back Mana Crypt. Spell Bomb. Cast Spell Bomb. Cast Cage. Cast Mana Crypt. Tap for Mana. Sack this. Just wanted to donate some money. Stop trying to distract me, Hayden. I'm busy doing stuff. Really, really important stuff. Um, thanks, my friend. I appreciate it. All right, sack the ironworks. Make mana. Get back. A scrap trawler. Play scrap trawler. Sacrifice. 
I just draw a card, maybe draw a card. Get back Mana Crypt. Play Tormod Script. Play Mana Crypt. Make some mana. Sex Scrap Trawler. Get back Acre Wellspring. Get back Chromatic Star. Play Wellspring. Wait, I shouldn't stack that yet. Play this thingy. Sack it, get back Mana Crypt. Um, sack this thingy, I guess. Get back Chromatic Star. Another Wellspring? Ah, oh, it's gas. Play this, play this. Mana, mana. Wellspring. Top. Uh,. Draw a card, trigger on the stack, sacrifice it, draw the card, Tormod Script, play Chromatic Star, sacrifice it, get back. I didn't put a zero in the graveyard, oops, whatever. Sarge, I'm busy! What's up Sarge, thanks, oh no, Emmercool! Emmercool, oh, I can take that, Never mind. I forgot, we're good. Emmercool! Play Graph Digger's Cage. Play Emmercool. Uh, I keep going, I guess? I guess I keep going, right? Get back Pyrite Spell Bomb. Mirror Retriever? Oh, now we're just doing it. So now we're just dead. Now we, uh. Sack Cage. Sack Cage. Play Spell Bomb. Sack for Red. Shoot you. Get Black Lotus. Man, Black Lotus is insane with uh with uh, Ironworks. Scra sacrifice this. Get back. Pirate Spell Bomb. And Scrap Trawler. Play Scrap Trawler. Play Pirate Spell Bomb. Nugia and let's see what's good for us. Get ya. Oh, we lost the flip. We're so unlucky. Turn two! This deck is dope! Nice! I guess technically it was a turn three kill. Sorry, everyone. Isn't Paradoxical Outcome is a better option? Listen, I don't play Vintage. And I was made to play Vintage today by Million Little E. And this is our deck. And here's the rule when you play Magic, alright? Let me tell you guys a secret. You guys want to know the secret to being a professional Magic player? And the secret to success in magic. Here's one of a secret. How the pros do it. Why someone succeeds in a magic tournament. You don't want to know a secret. No, no one here wants to know a secret. Oh, <gasps> Telerian Academy. Ironworks. Right, we could have won on turn two if we just like loop the, the spell on a million times, but screw that. Sand seems great. I don't think you want to know the secret. They kept seven with Bizarre again? Ugh. That's scary. 
You know, you guys don't want to have a secret. Hollow one. You don't want to have a secret. The secret bathroom is very important. That is true. Finding a secret bathroom is very, very important. All right. So, Mox Ruby. Our academy is not even that good yet. Um, I'm a little scared about turn two here because if they get a therapy, they can, they can, uh, they can therapy our thingy. Hmm. If you want to have a secret, put a Mr. Destructoid in chat. If you want to know a secret, put a Mr. Destructoid in chat. Actually, I'm sorry. Never mind. Never mind. Put a brain slug in chat. If you want to know a secret, put a brain slug in chat. All right. So that's two. We have to play some stuff. I mean, if they therapy us, we still have a stirrings to hit the um. A stirrings to hit the an ironworks. Um, we have top two. Let's go like Terrarian. Two mana. This top star. This is fine with me. I'm fine with this. If they kill us, they kill. I mean, if, they, if they get our if they get our thing or kill us, they get, they do it. All right, here's the secret. The secret to winning in Magic. Once you register your deck for a tournament and you're in the tournament, that deck is the best deck ever created ever. You may say no wrong about your deck. That is the best deck ever created, and until that tournament's over, you love your deck unconditionally. So right now, the deck we're playing is the literal best deck in Vintage by a country mile. It's busted. It's broken. It is the bomb. And they have double therapy. They have no... And a bridge. Ugh. All right, we got to get a little lucky here. Unconditional love for your deck. The second... like, And if, even if you're O2, even if you're... what? Oh my, they double Bazaar too? God, their hand is so good. Right, we're, probably, we're probably dead here. But... Jesus, they kept they kept a seven card hand with two bazaars. But yeah, your deck is the best deck ever. Until that tournament ends, you love your deck unconditionally. You say not you say not one bad word about your deck. Even if you misbuilt your deck, even if you like you you screwed your mana base up, you should you should be playing extra basic planes, and you realize it's round three, you never say, Man, if only I had a planes. You love your deck unconditionally. I mean, we're probably going to lose here. I think we're just dead this turn, honestly. So, I mean, double, double, this deck, our opponent's deck mulligans to Bizarre. Um, like, they'll mulligan any hand that's in that Bizarre. They kept seven with two Bizarres. So, we are dead as a doornail. It's dead on turn two here. Right? This is a flamekin, I guess. What's up, Jones? So they have double therapy. So, I mean, they probably name Ironworks with the first one. So we got to get a little lucky here. They didn't have five draws. They started dredging. They had two draws. Elishnor means I can't combo. That is true. That is a problem. Well, if you win this game, it's because our deck is the best deck ever. If you lose this game, we just got unlucky. Only option. Only other option. Alright. Um. So... How can we win? It is true. We cannot put a... Um, we can still cast a Retriever or Scrap Trawler 
We can't have it in play. You can still get the trigger off of it. Let's see what happens. I think we're not going to top upkeep. Ingot sure. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna say our opponent's hand was very, very good, but their opponent's hand was our opponent's hand was very, very good. If we'd been in the play this game, we would, we would, would have won easily, easily would have won this game because their turn one was nothing. So we're just very unlucky, and that's just the way it goes, obviously. Uh, I mean, we found our ironworks. So you're saying there's a chance. What's up, B-Mets? What's up, my friends? Ancient Tomb. That is not very useful. How about... Chromatic Star. Mishra's Workshop, also not very useful. How about... We top. I mean, I should top before I drew a card there. Scrap Trawler, Acre Wellspring, Chromatic Star. That's actually not that bad. Um, right? Yeah. Draw. Play Wellspring. Draw two. Play. Top. Tap to draw in response, sacrifice it. Draw a card, chromatic star. Uh. If we win this game, it's because our deck is the best deck ever conceived. Ha! Take that, Bridges. Get back our Wellspring. Screw their graveyard. We don't care about their graveyard. Uh, that's a mox. Uh, we're dead. Bum, 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 bum. So yeah, if we want to play the game, we want easily. That's kind, of, that's kind of frustrating, honestly. I don't play a lot of vintage. Vintage doesn't really appeal to me. Like, we, if we're on the play, we, we win that game 100% of the time. And if we on the draw, we lose 100% of the time. We just, their turn one doesn't really do much, and we had turn two ironworks and probably win the game. So, we're dead. That stinks. Um, it's possible I should have topped one time in the in the middle there, but, all right. That's fine. We're one on one If you're sitting here, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. We're playing Crack Clan Ironworks in Vintage. In Vintage. Um... Donation bonus league from Million Little E. If you're just tuning in, make sure you follow the stream. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Um, a little bit of wait time here between matches. It is vintage, so while we're in our queue. Been getting a few four to one online, and I want to see if you can get it to a five to zero. Mr. Bravado. We're playing some devoted druid company. Sweet, Mr. Bravado. Make sure you fill out the form. Everyone shows some love in chat. Fill out the form, please. Yeah, sweet. Don't you bonus league. Uh, you're in the queue. Fill out the form. Let me know what's good for you. All right, here we go. More vintage. This hand looks decidedly like a, a modern hand. Minus these two cards, but... Isn't Long Island the vintage capital of the world? Yeah, I played some vintage events here like five or six years ago. I'm not really big into vintage. It's not my thing. Uh, we're going to mulligan, which have no power, and no workshop, and no ancient tomb, and nothing going on. This hand's way too modern-esque. Hmm. 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 Huh. 
On the play, they kept their end. I mean, turn one, like, top, turn two, upkeep, top, is... Well, it's 13 lands, but there's, like, seven moxes or whatever, or eight moxes. It's basically 20 lands. Seven was not good at all. We're playing vintage, folks. We're not playing modern. Like, you gotta do busted stuff on turn one and two, or you're not gonna win. You can't keep a hand that goes, like, turn one, ancient stirrings, doesn't do anything. Uh, this hand's not great either, but... Yeah, two stirrings of vintage, very, very different than two stirrings of modern. Um, I think he mulligan this. We can do better. That is better. That is a lot better. Keep. Top. Perfect. Perfect hand. Turn one defense grid. Defense. 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 Like, this hand is infinitely better than both our, our 7 and our 6. We have a lot of mana. We got things to do. A little defense. They're playing a blue deck, which would be nice. I'm sure they're going to go turn 1 transfer or something, but... Yeah, like... Okay. We're playing Vintage still? Not the zero amount of artifact I expected. I thought vintage players liked nice versions of cards too. This is like the ugliest ornithopter ever printed. What? That's stupid. What is going on? Ornithopter mind twist? What the hell is happening? Well, now our hand sucks. Because he mulligan to five and they mind twisted us. And we don't have anything to do anymore. Our hand was, was great. Our hand is not good anymore. Yeah. Ornithopter mind twist. This is this is a deck in, in vintage, right? I haven't played vintage in a long time, but Ornithopter Mind Twist is like the the current tier one archetype, right? Is that true? Okay. Ruin you, that's Larian Academy and uh, Icar Wellspring, I'm not gonna lie. This card's unrestricted now, right? Cranial Plating, ah. What better follow up to a turn one mind twist than a turn two Cranial Plating? Orny Twist. <sighs> I feel like our opponent's playing a cube deck. Candelabra? What is going on? Did they, this is just like a pile of cards that are legal and vintage. Double plating. What a collection of cards. How is Candelabra in this deck? What is going on? Alright. I mean... What, they unrestricted Ornithopter? Ornithopter's unrestricted? Man. You don't play Vintage in a few years. Everything goes to shit. Alright, well, we're dead, so I guess that's cool. Uh, that, was, that was a fun game. <sighs> Alright, let's we'll just try and keep seven against turn one Mind Twist if we can. Cool. Let's bring our Nature's Claims, and we're going to cut uh, Defense Grids. And the top. Simple as that. Unrestricted Ornithopter. I can't even believe that. Like, what are they thinking? They just, just restrict every single zero mana artifact. Every single one should be restricted. All of them. All of them. What exactly just happened? I couldn't tell you. 
those idiots at Wizards unrestricted Ornithopter. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Let's go. Whoa. This hand is it's nasty. Uh, keep. <laughs> Except for Mox Amber. Mox Amber can stay unrestricted. Mox Amber's too bad. All right. Uh, I guess we go... Sorry, our hand's not actually that good because we can't cast these two green cards, but it looks really cool. Throw on Scrap Trawler. Uh... I guess I just cast these, right? Because I'd rather have... I don't want to get mind twisted. Uh, fresh meat. I'll play one. What's the reasoning behind that? I have no idea. I just decided that one is the right one, right number to play. Sand's like... It's not actually that... I mean, we have like... Maybe 16 green sources in our deck. And many things that can trip, so... Here we go. Get taxi and probe. That's my hand. My ugly Tolarian Academy. My ugly Mox Pearl. My ug my ugly Mox Jet and my ugly Mistress Workshop. Ugly vintage. It's an ugly taxi and probe. It's true. Get taxi and probe into mind twist. Here we go. It's mind twist time. Skull clamp. Is skull clamp restricted? Like actual question. Probably not, right? Mox Pearl, Mox Opal, Skull Clamp. Green Source. That's super awkward. Um, okay. Well, we're kind of there. All right, well, we're all rolled up with nowhere to go. We just need any green source or any um, Acre Wellspring, Chromatic Star, Chromatic Sphere. If I was playing Ornithopter, I'd have an O2 in play. I'm not so lucky. Another Mox, jeez. This. We're not playing Spheres, but we have Stars. So we have Terrarians, which, are, which would be kind of annoying, because Terrarian obviously comes in depth. Can, 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 can we borrow this, please? I'll trade you. Yeah, I, I detest all... Mind twist? Looks like a mind twist. Smells like a mind twist. Feels like a mind twist. It's a mind twist. Nice hand, Torok. And we draw Acre Wellspring. God damn it. Well, they're 12. We've killed one person with Scrap Trawler Beats already. I'm not scared to do it again. It's true, Mine Rot. Mine Rot, busted and vintage. Deck was on the overlay. You can also type an explanation point deck. If you're sitting in, welcome to the stream. Vintage Crack Clan Ironworks. We are one and one. We lost some pretty nutty dredge hands. Um, we turn to them one game. 
they turned two to us one game. If we had been on the the player draw, decided both games. Um, if we had been on the play in game three, we would have, we would have won. If they were on the play in game two, they probably would have won. So, all right, they got the skull clamp, they got the cranial plating, they got all the fixins, but no ornithopter. Mystic Remora. Whenever your opponent casts a non-creature spell, you may draw a card unless that card unless that player plays four. So I'm pretty sure we're just not going to cast any spells and attack for three four times. While they pay the upkeep cost for this. Terrarian. Is this four? Just pay the cost. There wasn't any podcast. The podcast I listened to is called Revisionist History. Um, it's a tip from from Brad Nelson. I mean, uh, we did the versus video. It's pretty cool. It's about like looking back on things in history that have not been remembered correctly. Uh, it's a really good podcast. It's all. It's all. I, I don't listen to many podcasts otherwise, though. All right, so we're gonna pay. We're gonna pay the four here, and just say go. Is opponent single asking for a friend? They are doing it right now. Our opponent is is doing it. Golf course episode was great. The episode that got me into revisionist history was a uh, episode about free throws. So apparently, the the best way to shoot a free throw is underhand. It's granny style, and nobody will do it. The best free throw shooter of all time, his name was something Barry, I think. And he shot like 95% for his career free throws. He shot underhand, and he was one of the only people in the league who would do it. And he played on a on with a Wilt Chamberlain for one season. And Wilt Chamberlain was an awful free throw shooter, like 40%. And he convinced Wilt to shoot underhand, got him shooting like 80%. And then in Wilt Chamberlain's Chuck Barry, there you go. In Wilt Chamberlain's 100-point um, game, he shot underhand, and he went 28 of 32 from the line. But by the end of the season, he just stopped doing it. He just didn't want... Oh, they got Nordis Opter. We're dead. Um, you know, he didn't want to be... And he, said, and he literally said in his autobiography, he was tired of people calling him a sissy. So he went back to shooting overhand and shot 40%, 40% for the rest of his career. And... Just an episode about how no one will shoot. No one will shoot underhand. It's just easily the best way to, to shoot, but no one's no one's willing to do it because everyone's just like, I don't know. It's just an hour long episode about that. It's just super interesting. Rick Barry, Rick Barry, demonic tutor, glimmer void, no ornithopter. I was sure we were getting thoptered there. Just sure of it. So this is kind of weird because Mystic or More is a card you play when you're playing a lot of free counter spells. So they could have like Force of Will or something in their deck. I think we're just going to attack again and play Spell Bomb and just keep keep rolling. Yeah. Not really in a huge rush here. We don't know what they went for, but yeah, I'm just gonna chill here. Could cast ancient stirrings, but I just don't really see a reason to do anything yet. If I change my mind about golf, what do you mean? I like superhero shows. I mean, Nicole and I really watch TV. The remora is gone. Welcome aboard. What are they gonna do? I'm a little concerned here. What are they gonna do? What's their big play? Another mind twist. Oh, well, I still love golf. I mean, I think the golf course thing is stupid. Like, 
the golf course episode is about a golf course in LA and they like they are basically grandfathered into an uh, a, a tax bracket where they pay like a million dollars a year in taxes for their huge golf course in the middle of LA when they should be paying like 90 million but they're just like grandfathered in it's just so stupid all right what the hell is this card Doretti ingenious iconoclast plus one make a token with defender minus one sacrifice an artifact to destroy target artifact or creature it's kind of a tilt uh choose an artifact card in a graveyard so they're gonna destroy my ironworks i guess I mean, I guess they have Mistress Factory, so they can't. We can. They can actually block, but we're like pretty close to just killing them. If they go to kill my Ironworks, I'm going to. Yeah, but Doctor Doom. There's plenty of like public horses that are pretty cheap. Balance. One land. Each have two lands. So all this does is kill Scrap Trawler, and that's it. But then they can use this to kill Ironworks. What the hell is going on? Like our opponent's actually just playing like a cube draft. Um. So we want to. I want to keep the Terrarian for stirrings. Ugh. Just draw a card off Spellbomb, I guess. Then when this dies, you get it back. You could also, like, float a mana, sacrifice it for Ironworks, and then get it back with the thing. I don't see what that does for us, though. I don't want to put cards in our hand, so... I guess we're, we're going to lose the cards in our hand anyway. Um, right. So I guess we just... This is just fine, I guess. Alright. They're playing Terminate. Quattro, I appreciate you making fun of the Magic Online cube, but I think your... Quattro says... Vintage cube draft plus an ornithopter. Oh wait, it's a moto cube, so the thopter is likely included in the cube. The, the 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 problem with the vintage cube is the exact opposite of that. They would not put ornithopter. What the hell is this? They would not put ornithopter in the cube. Cube. They're, they're too, too busy putting in planeswalkers. Ornithopter would actually be kind of cool in a cube. I mean, we just draw a card here. I don't really get what they're doing here. I have no idea why they would kill that over ironworks. Makes no sense. The problem with but the problem with all the Magic Online cubes. I could have killed it already. I don't really care about that. It's gonna win next turn. What's up, Wild Fire? Thanks for the resub. Played my first modern event yesterday. Beat Tron and Jeskai Control. Okay, so. Hello. Okay, let's play Black Lotus, I guess. Do I Academy now or later? Probably just later. Are we vintage players now? No. All right, that's probably the game, right? We get the Scrap Trawler and do all the things. Right, that's probably good for us. Okay, so workshop scrap trawler. Probably tap for Tolarian Academy now. Tap tap. So we're gonna sacrifice the Terrarian. Get back Lotus. Tree of Tails tilt. Plus 
Play Ironworks. Play Lotus. And we're off to the races. Um, we get to draw. We can get a Scrap Trawler back. So let's get Sacrifice this. Get back Scrap Trawler. Play Scrap Trawler. And now we gotta get back. Odds we time out. They're not low. Get back. Terrarian and Spellbomb. Play Terrarian. Play Spellbomb. Target Lotus. Draw another Spellbomb. Draw a card. Oh, I could have played Lotus. Oops. Uh, oh yeah, Lotus. Sack for red. I could have got some more mana there. Oops. Uh, play this. Draw a card. Get back Lotus. Draw Ancient Doom. Holy crap, I think we fizzled. What's the punt? What did I do? I missed the mana. The mana doesn't matter. We're not short on mana. Oh, they're at six? That's a thing. Okay, that's fair. I was not thinking about them being at six. I was just thinking about trying to combo off. That is fair. That is fair. We can fix this. Um, how do we fix this? Sacrifice. No, sacrificing ironworks doesn't really work. Okay. So I could, yeah, I could have just bomb. I could have just shot, shot, bomb, shot, bomb, shot, sack, trawler, get back, bomb. Okay, so we screwed up. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Um, now they can ready and destroy my ironworks. So we can. S We can sacrifice the Ironworks to get back Scrap Trawler and just cast Scrap Trawler and just say go. And then we'll have two Trawlers in play to their Mishra's Factory. And then when we attack with both, the Trawler dies, we get back Spell Bomb. Hi. Yeah, I, I just wasn't thinking about them being alive. Right, we gotta make a play here. Um, let's, uh, well, I guess they, they kill the Ironworks. No. This is weird. This is so hard. Uh, so they sack an artifact to show my ironworks. I get back a scrap trawler. If I, if I just get a scrap trawler now, and destroy it, I get back two bombs and kill them. Yeah, I think I just do this. Alright, so I'm going to sacrifice the, the Ironworks. We kind of punted, but... Trawler gets back Trawler. We just play the Trawler. And we're just going to say go. With a million mana floating. They can kill one of my, my Trawlers, but if they do, I get back two Spell Bombs. And they're mostly dead. So, if I just let, let the Ironworks in play, they'll just kill the Ironworks. And I'll just get back Trawler. So, this is better. I also have two attackers now. Ugh, ugly. It's almost like his decks are hard to play. That wasn't that hard, though. I'm just stupid. I didn't look at their life total. I was so concerned with trying to go off and keep the chain going. Didn't think about what was actually happening. That's called tunnel vision.
All right, they play a Glimmer Void. Could have got back a Spell Bomb in response to killing KCI. What? All right, opponent. What you got for us? What you got for us? What's next in this... Um, Oh, they're making a, a defender token. Got it. Why would we get back a spell bomb? We should get back the trap troller. Like. <laughs> Psy Master Thopterist. Okay, now we're doing it. Opponent is so deep in the tank, it is unbelievable. What is going on? They're actually just playing commander. Um, all right, so vintage brawl, basically. So no equips. They have factory up. It's weird. They have skull clamp construct. They could have just skull clamped it. Hello. Never punished. Okay, so sack trawler. Sack is for red. Now there's dead, right? Sack trawler, get back, spell bomb, spell bomb. Aw, oh, you son of a bitch. I hit the same spell bomb twice. It wasn't highlighted. Aw, oh, I hate you. I want you to die. Okay. That makes things much more complicated, obviously. God, that is such a tilt. Magic Online interface, the worst interface ever. All right. Um, we still sack ironworks, but now we, now we only get back one thing. God, that's so frustrating. You can sack both if you're paying for an ability. Can you do the the thing with the announcing thing? Does that work, Amoto? Oh god. Alright. Um I think that works. Right? So yeah, we can we can announce Black Lotus. Does that work online? Like, can I announce back Black Lotus and pay for it with the mana from Ironworks, sacrificing Ironworks and Scrap Trawler and get back both spell bombs. In in real life that works. But how does that work online? Attack with Trawler? They, they have blockers. Doesn't work for zero mana stuff. Why not? You're still Yes, Bob was in the graveyard, so we hold control. This is 
so annoying. I can't pay for it, though. There's no way to pay mana for it. God damn it. They just block with the Psy. It's a 1 4. So you can't you can't overpay on a zero, a zero meta spell. That's annoying too. Okay, this is really really annoying. If they double block, I win. Yeah, I mean I can't imagine they would do that. So. This is, this is really, really frustrating. I'm sorry, guys. All right, I'm just going to sack the Ironworks and get back the Spell Bomb and play it, I guess, and just... They just say go, actually. They can just already it. That's fine. All right. I'm having less fun this game, I'm not going to lie. Between the misclicks and the punts. Why would I attack? They just block with the 1-4, I don't understand. Like, if I have draw her, they can't, they can't attack me, and they just block and win. So they're gonna clamp, kill something with the ready. It's just annoying that the last one was a, like I, I punt, I punt, whatever. I, don't, I, I punt is fine, but misclicking the the, the the spell bomb for the win. What is what is going on? <laughs> Crop rotation, balance, mystic or more, demonic tutor. Like they're actually playing singleton, except for lens. Dragon master outcast sucks. Tilt, misclick. I don't know why I couldn't differentiate between the two spell bombs. Magic Online is not very clear ever. Opponents playing commander. We lost game one to a turn one mind twist, so we mulligan to five. Ugh. Opponents got skull clamp, sigh. I think it's pretty good, actually, honestly. Card should probably go on my cube. All right, sacrifice artifact, destroy target artifact or creature. All right, so scrap trawler is dead. Oh wait, no, I screwed up. No. I just sacked the ironworks to get back a spell bomb, and then this. Oh my god, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I I've just I've thrown this game ten ways till Sunday like ten times. I'm going to kill myself. I'm I'm I am absolutely done. Stream's over. Everyone go home. Could have won the game like literally seven times already. And we're losing to a command to a commander deck. This is this is my hell. This is my actual hell. Like if I have a nightmare, it's this. It's me streaming, playing against someone playing commander, punting every turn, and losing. You blow it!
Unbelievable. Time walk. Okay, sure. Much dead. Tinker? Alright. Tinker for Bicycle Colossus, sure. <sighs> that was probably one of the worst matches I've ever played on stream. We lost to an actual commander deck. Because we punted 100 times. Oh my god! Somebody kill me. Fish Tuna, welcome to the stream. So game one, we mulliganed to five, and they went... Land Mox Mox Ornithopter Mind Twist for two. And then game two, we punted about seven times. One was a misclick, which really pisses me off. We had two spell bombs in our graveyard and two scrap trawler triggers, and then we tried to click both separate spell bombs and somehow clicked the same one twice. But <sighs> how much does that, does that cost on Moto? I have no idea. Is it Tinker Bandit Commander? I agree. Deep breath. Deep breath. We're going to get through this. It's okay. It's okay. We got more donation bonus leagues coming up. Um, we got a uh, modern Super Grizzle Brand, Turbo Grizzle Brand. And we got modern Caw Blade coming up later in the stream. If I don't kill myself after this leak. So, Dungeon Bonus Leagues, you submit the deck list, I get the cards. I have a partnership with CardHoarder.com, the best online bot service. I can borrow cards. This deck did not cost 1,500 1, tickets because it my limit is 1,000, so... Seasons Pass we're still working on. We're going to work on that more next week. Stoneforge is banned in Modern. Yes, so we're playing Stoneforge List Call Blade. A link to my cube. I haven't worked on my cube in years. Um, I just haven't had time. But... Here's the article series I wrote about it uh, a few years ago. Six-part article series all about my cube. Melvin, is that not a link? Oh. Here, check it out. Six-part article series about cube design. Um, check that one out. All six articles are listed in the top of this article. Oh, boy. Deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. While we're waiting... My name is Jim Davis, and I'm the worst Magic player of all time. I just lost to a commander deck playing Vintage. Ask me anything. Ask me anything. Article goes up uh, in about 15 minutes on StarCityGames.com. 15 minutes, article goes up. God. The misclick really gets me, you know? That it's just difficult to differentiate between the spell bombs in the graveyard and what's been targeted or not targeted. You know? That's the part that got me. Everything else is whatever, but... Ask me anything. Ask me anything. Hobbs and Discord wants to know what would, what would be the top five decks in standard post rotation. I don't know. There's no the set's not even out yet. Uh, JW player, new sub. JW, what's your name? Where are you from? How long you been playing Magic? Show some love for our new sub. JW, questions are in chat. Answer those, please. My article on StarCityGames.com goes up in ten minutes. All about Legion War Boss. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 Legion War Boss dun 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 Uh New Ral Zarek is good, it's not a modern playable card. What will the Rangers record be this season? 
Uh, honestly. Yeah, Rawls Arik has a tough go of it in standard because it's just worse than Teferi. Um, Teferi's very, very good. In case you didn't know that already. Karn is not that important. Karn, Karn is not very good. Karn's medium. Legion War Boss. It's good to be the boss. You want to see a preview of the uh, the article? I can give you an image preview. Another new sub, X Headhunter. What's up, my friend? There's your there's your article preview. Like a boss. Make a token like a boss. Attack for one like a boss. Has mentor like a boss. Is a goblin like a boss. There's your article preview right there. StarCityGames.com in 10 minutes. Check out my article. StarCityGames.com. Million Little, I'm sorry, all right? I feel awful. I'm the worst. I get it. Favorite limited block to play? Uh, Mirrored and Darksteel, Fifth Dawn, or Onslaught, Legion, Scourge. Thanks to the cheers, uh, Charge. Do I think Humans is too good in Modern? No. But it is probably the best deck, yes. Thanks to the cheers, everyone. Appreciate it. It's okay to be wrong, Tannen. It's okay to be wrong. I like that old school limited... Give him my onslaught. Give him my morphs. Give him my sparksmith. Let's go. I mean, Dr. Fanatic, you're talking about playing a five mana planeswalker in modern. That's not the fairy. You know? Shards Limited. I have bad memories of Shards Limited. Um, I liked the format. I was pretty good at it, but at my at the Pro Tour in Shards Limited block, Pro Tour, whatever, Pro Tour Honolulu was uh, 2009 with Shards Limited and Block Constructed. I went 9-1 and one in Constructed at the Pro Tour, but I went 1-4-1 and one in my two drafts to not top 8 the Pro Tour. I was 5-0 at the 5-0 feature draft, and the person next to me it's like it changes my entire Magic career. Person, so I first pick, um, like, something. I think the a white two drop. I get past a Rocks War Monk, and don't love Bant, but I take it. And then pick three. I get past the Vein Drinker, which is a black red rare. So like, obviously I'm fucked. Total, 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 uh, total disaster. My deck's, my deck's a, mass, a mess. Because the Pro Tour draft was the feature draft, I looked at what my opponent, the person to my right, took. They first picked Branching Bolt over Rock Swarm Monk, which is a red-green card. Then they got past Rock Swarm Monk and Vein Drinker and took the Rock Swarm Monk. So they took the, the card that puts them into four colors after passing a Rock Swarm Monk. Rock Swarm Monk is a... Here, hold on. Maybe I can find that. Draft two, table one. Here it is. Here it is. I found it. Pro Tour Honolulu. Draft two, table one. Oh, this is, oh, this is, this is draft two. I want draft one. Um, what? Go see him. 5,000 viewers? That's that's not real. Uh, I refuse to believe that's even real. That's not real. Nope. No way, no how. I'm being punked. Uh, I can't find that thing. That's uh, that's pretty serious. If you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name's Jim Davis. We're playing some Magic. We're playing a donation bonus league. Vintage KCI for Million Little E. We're 1-2. and two. We punted pretty bad last round. I'm coming down off it. Uh, the Vintage Q takes a little bit, a little bit of time to uh, get rolling. But, um... 
So we're hanging out and just uh, ask me anything is what we're currently doing. And uh, trying to find this draft viewer. I can do this. Draft one table. One hundred billion viewers. It's fun how everything is so relative. Like, I host uh, someone for likes. I, I usually host people who have like 10 views or whatever. I try and give them a little love. And they're like, oh my God, I'm being hosted for like 200 viewers. This is insane. This is so awesome. And like, it's fun to watch them kind of freak out. And then if I get hosted for like 5,000 viewers, it's all relative. Because I'm normally like, oh yeah, whatever. I got viewers and stuff. But I'm like, holy crap, 5,000 viewers. <gasps> You know, and then if some big streamer who has like twenty thousand viewers usually gets hosted by Ninja, then they go. <gasps> so that's fun. It's fun. I apologize for the short wait here because we are waiting for a match. Um, the vintage queues on Magic Online are a little bit slow, but make sure you follow the stream if you're new here. Welcome, and uh, you can hop over. I got a, I got a cool YouTube. I got a cool Twitter. Put some, put some magic here. Magic here, and uh, we got donation bonus leagues all day today. What's the donation bonus league? Well, fifty bucks. I pay your deck play your deck and million little e put in the donation for this insane vintage ironworks deck we're one and two we completely chuck last round pretty sad about it and uh we're trying to uh reprieve here so it's gonna be on youtube of course it's gonna be on youtube Ninja is weird. Even offline, he keeps 2,000 viewers. Well, people like people who watch streams often will watch at night and fall asleep and just leave it on. So that's usually why there's like dead viewership. So basically, this deck is trying to. It's it's like the modern Ironworks deck. Um, we were basically playing Ironworks and then looping a bunch of stuff where we sacrifice a bunch of artifacts. We use Scrap Trawler to get cards back from the graveyard to get more artifacts, and you just keep looping and making more mana and looping and making more mana. So, you know, we sack Scrap Trawler. I'm sorry, we, we have a Scrap Trawler. We play a Retriever and sack it and get back a Chromatic Star and a Chromatic Star. Sack that, make more mana, draw more cards, keep going, keep going, keep going. And then um, normally in paper, we would just be creating some sort of a loop where we have like a Scrap Trawler and Ironworks and a way to draw a card. And it's just like a looping iteration of like add one mana, draw a card. Um... Online, you can't do that because you can't make a loop. So you just play one Emrakul. So eventually, you just draw your whole deck, have a bajillion mana, and play Emrakul and win the game. Um, but you can win without it by looping Pyrite Spellbomb, which would just... You'd make a bajillion mana and draw a bunch of cards, and then eventually just, like, play it, shock, deal two, play a card, return it, shock, deal two, etc. So... Ancient Grudge in the main deck in Vintage. Um, cards like Null Rod and Stony Silence are more important or things that are a little more directly affecting. Like a, a Shatter isn't nearly as good as a thing that turns off all artifacts. Chalice on zero, things like that. I don't play Vintage, so I'm not super familiar with the format. So I get it. Was that host actually real or no? Because my viewership hasn't gone up at all. Go. Was that actually a four or 5,000 viewer host? You punking me? Are you punking me? Am I getting punked right now? Getting punked, I think. Getting punked. Where's Ashton Kutcher? That 70s show. Alright, so anyway, I'll try to find this draft I was talking about. Uh, Pro Tour Honolulu coverage. I found draft two. Tournament center, top eight brackets. Coverage, Sunday, Saturday, Friday. There it is. I found it. I found it. So you have to relive my not top eight. So here we go. Pro Tour Honolulu, 2009, draft one, 5-0 table, right? I first pick, show pick. Knight of a Skyward Eye.
like a past the pack that has a Rock Swarm Monk and not much else. Cool, right? Sounds pretty good. Cool, sweet. Um, I get past the pack with Vein Drinker. I don't know why the, the mouse over is not working, but Vein Drinker was a, a bomb rare black card with a red ability. Big flying vampire, kills creatures, very good rare. So I'm like, well, what the hell? I first picked a, a white card. I got past a Bant card, Rock Swarm Monk, which is a pretty good card, obviously. Three mana for a 3 4 lifelinker is pretty solid. And then I got past third pick. A black red rare. So what is going on, right? So I look over to my right. Jeff Pika. This draft is uh, Jeff Pika. I know Jeff Pika. He's a, like a Northeast guy, right? Is he passing to me? Yep. So Jeff Pika first picks a Branching Bolt. Makes sense. Branching Bolt was a very very good card. First pickable. Deals three to a flyer or three to a non-flyer or both. So pretty busted common. Um, he passes me the Rock War Monk, so he knows he's passing me War Monk, you know? Then he gets past the pack of taking a red-green card with a black-red bomb rare, which would put him in Jund and have him with a good rare and a branching bolt, so he's a nice three-color deck, and pass me the War Monk and keep a good signal. Or take War Monk. So he takes the War Monk. I would have had back-to-back -back War Monks. I would have had a great Bant deck. He would have had a great Jund deck. He would have 3 owed. I would have been 8-0 at the Pro Tour, top 8 of the Pro Tours. My, my, my constructed deck was insane. And life would have been different. But nope. Jeff Jeff Pike. It's funny. Cause Jeff's, I, Jeff's from the Northeast, I think. But Jeff took Branching Bolt, Passing War Monk, and then took War Monk. He cut me like you'd cut someone in a money draft. Back in the day, money drafts were uh, very, very common. Pro Tours and Grand Prix and side events and stuff. Where a money draft is basically... A three-on-three -three team draft for money, obviously. And uh, very different than a regular draft because in a regular draft, your goal is to cooperate. You know, I want to figure out what color you're in and stay out of it and try and convince you to stay out of my colors or so both of our decks are really good. In a money draft, you're sitting A, B, A, B, A, B. You're sitting next to, to, uh, to uh, two, two of your enemies. You're, so the opposite team is surrounding you and passing to you. So you want to try and hook them. You're the old hook. So where you'd open a pack with like two good blue cards and no other good cards. Say, say you open a pack with two, blue, two good blue cards and an okay red card. In a regular draft, you might take the red card and pass the blue cards along to send a good signal. In a money draft, you would just take the good blue card, hoping they would take the good blue card, and you would just cut every blue card so their deck would suck. So in a team draft, like... Everyone's deck just sucks because everyone's just aggressively cutting each other, you know? So he hooked me. The problem was it was a not a team draft. It was a, the 5-0 draft at a Pro Tour. And yeah. So Jeff Pike, if you're watching, I'm still mad. It was like 11 years ago, but I'm still mad. All right. I mean, we've been in this queue for 17 minutes. This is insane. What's up, Kieran? Uh, we're 1-2. We punted a match really bad. We should be 2-1. There we go. They heard me. We're one two playing a one oh. It's fine. Alright, uh this hand is terrible. Mulligan. This hand is a lot better. Keep. What are the guy to his right first pick? I don't know, I closed it. I picked the Green Bay Packers for week one survivor. Alright, we're gonna keep scry to the bottom. Alright, tree. Soul ring. Mox Opal. Ancient Stirrings. Yes, Soul Rings Vintage Legal. Uh, I guess Scrap Trawler. Scrap Trawler. Sensei's Divining Top. Trawler, Terrarian, Ancient Stirrings. So I want to draw Stirrings and clear these top cards. So, Not a great hand. 
Not a great end. Uh, what, first pick over the bomb. I mean, the thing is that Vayne Drinker wasn't like an insanely good bomb rare. It was just like a very, it's a very good rare. Oh my god, turn on recall. Targeting you? Ugh. Oh my god, here we go. We're getting vintaged hard here. Oh, we're getting vintage so hard here. That's it? Just turn one, recall, Lotus, Mox, Voltaic Key, Volcanic Island? Sure. Um, that works. Okay. We're not there yet, though, unfortunately. We can't cast the Ironworks yet. So we're probably going to lose, because we're probably dead next turn. Um, we could play Explosives for zero and destroy their Lotus and their Mox, but that's pretty insane. So we're just going to play Scrap Drawler. We're almost surely going to die next turn, so I don't think it really matters what we do. Could have looked at the top three. If there's like a Tolarian Academy or a a workshop, maybe we could have won. Demonic Tutor. This cannot be good. Oh, we're, just, we're just dead now. They just get a stupid thingy. They just get the Time Vault. Alright, well, we're getting turn two again. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of Vintage, honestly. Um, like, I guess we're not playing Recall. And, you know, so we can't complain that they drew their Recall. We didn't draw our Recall. We should be playing Recall. But, but um, you know, it's just like, alright. They drew Recall, Lotus, we're dead. So as, as I described earlier, every deck has, like, two Jokers. If you just draw your Joker and your opponent doesn't, you're at a huge advantage, you know? Alright, so they're playing a blue deck... Probably want some gutter balls, I guess. I don't know how many gutter... We're already playing the defense grids. I don't know how many gutter balls we can afford to play. Um, cut like... But with EE for zero, it makes it so hard for us to win. You know? Uh, cut these like tops. Top is fine. I don't, I don't want to cut anything. I got like explosives. That's up, I guess, sure. I got a spell bomb. Oh, this is fine. Whatever, this is fine. We'll do it. Worm coils just seem like they're for um, decks that are playing like sphere resistance or like th things that can stop us in some way. Us dying does make it hard for us to win. I think Thoughtcast is whatever. Like, Stirrings is really, really good. But we should definitely just have... We should just have a recall on our deck. Just cut the top for a recall. You know? Okay. This hand is great. Keep. Let's turn one. Mox. Terrarian. Mental misstep? You're a maniac. Defense grid. No map. Time Twister is also probably good. Well, Magic Phoenix, that's what, that's what Vintage is. You know, like, it just kind of is what it is. The cards are restricted. That's just how the, the format works, you know? Mox Emerald. Academy. Recall. Explosives on zero. Okay, that's not the worst thing in the world. Workshop. Sure.
Oh my god. This is brutal. Make two green. Draw scrap trawler. Cool. It's not actually doing much at the moment, but. I think there's enough, enough mana fixing for recall, yeah. All right, well, here we are. We've got lots of stuff, but we have a lot of lands in our hand too, which sucks. Wonder is return to Ravnica go live online? I don't know. Or return to return to return to return to Ravnica? Here it comes. Main phase gifts ungiven? Black Lotus, Hercules Recall, Dak Faden, Time Walk. What's up, Tits? Oh, no. I mean, I don't think Hercules Recall is that good. Um. Just give them, like. Time walk. It's hard to know. Hmm. I'm definitely giving them a recall because recall we we have to have workshop and academy like we have another workshop too like recasting all of our stuff is no problem. Lotus is a little scary, but yeah, I was thinking I'll give Lotus recall. It's fun. That's Hercules recall, not ancestral recall. All right, there's your Lotus. They can force of will now through the through the, through defense grid, which is fine, I guess. Yeah, it wasn't actually five thousand viewers. I don't know. It was like two hundred. That's what I said. I get, get punked here, you know. <laughs> That's not real. It's not real. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second. Hold on. Were you really that unwatchable? 5,000 people were like, nope. <laughs> Kira, you're not going to be around? I can just do yours later, my friend. It's okay, but we'll, we'll do it another time. I want you to be able to see it. Hello, boy. Somebody Hello, wanted to come see How's the doctor? Good. He wants to show his battle scar. Battle scar? Awesome. Camera. There we go. Shut off. Your Turn elbow. your arm. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. They take, they take all your blood or just some of it? Just some of it, and it hurt. He only cried a little bit. Ah, Jim D. Fear. Jim D. Fear. Jim D. Fear in chat. Why isn't there Jim D. Wows? Because you, you're, you're scared of getting your blood taken. You gotta go to the doctor. Doctor? Everybody says hi. Doctor. But doctor, I'm a little kid. Anyone? It's like a super obscure reference. But doctor, I'm a drummer. Anyone? Like but doctor, I'm a drummer. Is that like head wig and the angry engine? <laughs> <What>? No. <laughs> I don't know. But doctor, I'm a drummer. Can you just call me a butt doctor. <laughs> I'll give I'll give Chad a minute to try and figure it out. I have no idea. It's, it's, like it's, obscure, it's an obscure reference from like 25 years ago. That's only like 1993. Stop. What are you talking about? Stop. Stop. Alright. Come on. But Doctor. I've not seen a comic strip of Batman as a Time Lord. 
Right, opponent, let's go. Come well, on. Yeah, because that just makes me think of Doctor Who. So it's from a VH1 behind the music on Def Leppard. Remember, Def Leppard has the one-armed drummer. So the band was in a car crash, and they're at the hospital, and the doctor's like, we're going to have to amputate your arm. And he's like, but doctor, I'm a drummer. Like, the doctor's going to be like, oh, you're a drummer. Never mind. We'll just fix it. Like, but doctor, I'm a there drummer. There actually is a drummer with only one arm. I know. It's from Def Leppard. Yeah. I'm talking about him. <laughs> we just told the story. Yeah. <gasps> but doctor. He's a better drummer than I am. Yeah, so we sit at a band practice all the time. <laughs> but doctor, I'm a drummer. <laughs> You show right. me a butt doctor. <laughs> but Ed, Ed quote. <laughs> Come on. All right. School time. Ah! That's right. Well, let's go to school. There's hot chocolate there if you'd like it. It's hot chocolate for me? You, you there's, there's like two drops left. Yeah. Thanks. The rest. You're thanks. Welcome. Appreciate that. Yeah. Thanks. Now you know how I feel. Um, did you eat breakfast? Yes, I had breakfast. Do you want me to get you sandwich? Um, not right now. Okay. Thank you, Jits. But doctor, I'm a drummer. Hi, yeah, John's sound stomach hurts, so he went to the doctor. The doctor, come on, opponent, let's do something here. Jeez, you folks tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name's Jim Davis. All waiting for our opponent to do stuff here. I want to remind you to all to hop on Twitter and give me a follow at Jim Davis MTG. That's right, fun stuff like my fantasy football team. Magic 20 team Magic Ringer League video went up on YouTube last night, and uh, who, who, who? At your Davis MTG, give me a follow. Almost at uh, 8,000. It's pretty sweet. Only over 10,000 for the year. Also got the YouTube's. YouTube's is bumping. If you're watching on YouTube right now, up 14666 subscribers. Check it out. All right, what do they do? By force. To destroy Scrap Trawler. Got back Terrarian. Why not buy Force to destroy these things, too? I don't know what they're doing. Just gonna sip on this hot cocoa here. Shakespeare. You wish to eat some Shakespeare? What would I ban from Modern Humans if one card would have to be banned so the deck would nearly would clearly not be the best anymore but still playable? You can just like reban Aether Vial. Um, that's like the card probably responsible for their best draws. I don't think it's like insane of a deck. The Heracles recalled himself. Oh god, here we go. We're dead. Um, it's probably Vile. Like you're not banning a creature. You know, you can ban Cavernous Souls. What the hell is that? Subterranean Tremors destroy all artifacts. Subterranean Tremors deals X damage to each creature without flying. If X is 4 or more, destroy all artifacts. If X is 8 or more, create an 8-8 eight, eight Lizard token. What the hell are these cards? Who designs these cards, you know? Okay. Um, that sucks. Subterranean Tremors. Mental misstep on my Terrarian. God forbid my opponent let me have a Terrarian. You know? Alright, well, we're probably dead. I mean, opponent did all that and we have nothing left, so. Did destroy their, um. Oh, they recalled their mocks back to their hand. Yeah, we're playing Vintage. If you ban Vile, you kill so many fair tier 2 3 decks. Vile's not actually good in any deck in Modern except for humans. Death and Daxes and Merfolk would be better off if Vile was not in their decks. This is kind of fine. We just put explosives. They're probably a mana drain, but. <clears throat> blue, red. Blue, red. Or not green, whatever. X is two. 
Yeah, Vile's not good in your Black Widow Drazi deck, I'm sorry. I could just crack the star, maybe, but boom! Take that. Library with two cards in end. Are we like gonna win this game? I'm always like, I'm always. Oh my god, they have Jace. Uh, check out my article. You wanna know why? You wanna know why Aether Vial sucks? Check out my article. It's in chat. Most overrated cards in Magic. Number one card. Aether Vial. There it is. You wanna know why? Go to StarCityGames.com. Read my article. Explains all the reasons why. All right, they play Jace. We have Scrap Trawler. That's actually pretty dope. Um, if they don't have a counter spell for this, we can sack the star, get back a Mox, draw a card. Nope, they have Mana Drain. Why not? All right, well, what's uh draw a card? I guess. Mirror Retriever. Right. Mana Drain. Add three mana. Hot Cuckoo. My article is using awful goblin charbelcher art. Listen, I don't pick the arts, you know? Burnsy. Burnsy's dumb and vintage. Oh, dig through time, that's fair. I mean. If Mirror's Workshop could cast Emrakul, we'd be close to casting Emrakul, right? 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Dak Faden. The greatest thief in the multiverse has stolen my Mirror Retriever. Alright, we're going to go to the next game. If there is a next game, there is a next game, is there? Uh, vintage is tough. So, that match we kind of just got shellacked. That wasn't even close. Um, we punted round three, unfortunately. Deck seems sweet, but... I don't know. Um, we, did, we did turn two in our first match, and our deck looked awesome, but deck has seemed a little less awesome since then. If you're tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. Vintage Crack Clan Ironworks for Million Little E. While we're waiting for a match, you can ask me anything. Don't be shy about that. Ask me anything. Oh, my article's up. StarCityGames.com Building Boss Goblin? That's not the name of my article. Stop changing the names of my articles. That's not what I... Whatever. The article's name is supposed to be It's Good to Be the Boss. Look at all these goblins. We've got a Legion War Boss. Check it out. Bam. What an article. Good times. Like a boss. Check it out, StarCityGames.com, my article all about Legion War Boss. Gooblins. Very industrious. Look at all the jobs that goblins have had. Like, of all the creature types in Magic, what goblin... Oh, what can't a goblin do? Goblin Warchief, Goblin, they can weld, they can guide, they can take care of kids, they can recruit, they can spy, they can build a house, they can go skiing, they can be a vandal, they can be a medic, they can climb mountains, they can be wizards, assassins, they can cut down trees, be a snowman, gardening, chain whirling. What can't, what can't goblins do, you know? I'm playing StarCraft. Check it out, StarCityGames.com. 
I'm more excited for Guilds of Ravnica or hockey season. Probably hockey season. Like, I love Magic, but I don't get too crazy over new set releases. Like, it's cool. I'm excited, but just the next thing, you know? All right. We're not playing StarCraft right now. Didn't mean to hit that. This hand is just really, really bad. This hand is much, much better. Workshop, Mox, Soul Ring. We're going to bottom this. What deck am I most afraid of you making me play? I don't really know anymore. You've been torturing me pretty good lately. So I kind of want to lead on Defense Grid. I think I'll turn one Island. Just go Defense Grid. Make him hurt. Like, what you gonna do, fool? What you gonna do? Oh, yeah. Look at that, turn one. The problem is we have Trawler and Ironworks, but no things to generate cards. All right, so um, anyway, uh, Braun says, "Are any thoughts on the Soul Flare deck I played a while back? Uh, promising jank. It's definitely a, a, a solid F and M deck. Like if it top aided and open, I would be surprised. I wouldn't be like floored, but it's definitely like a fun, a very fun but competitive deck. If it's top aided a classic, I would not be surprised. Could have kept top. I don't think we need top." Maybe I should have kept the top. I don't know. Just wanted to do better. Creator, thanks for the bits. Appreciate that. Yes, ads make the stream go around, you know? Gots to get paid. I gots to get paid. Taxi and probe, Tundra. Are you kidding me? Sword Supply Shares in Vintage? No deck plays creatures in Vintage. Get out of here. That's the rudest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Ancestral Recall. Brainstorm? After cracking a fetch, you have one Brainstorm in Vintage. You should probably use it right, you know? Legion81, what's up my friend? New sub. Legion, what's your name? Where are you from? How long you playing Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important, what's your name? Where are you from? Puppy name. You only, you only get one. It's restricted. That was not a good use of a brainstorm. Also, they have some sort of instant speed shuffle effect they're not telling us about. All right, well, now we got Ironworks and then nowhere to go with it, which kind of sucks. Gravity let me down. Another new sub. Same questions, my friend. Show some love for our new subs. Questions are in chat. Welcome, Gravity. Welcome, Legion. Let's see some love in chat, please. Like, why would you brainstorm? Weird. We're playing less star effects, I guess, than are played in modern. I feel like we've had this problem a few times. Sure. Had this problem a few times where we just have ironworks and nothing is sacrificed to it. I don't know. Speak of the devil. Wellspring. Why don't I play blue white modern recently? I mean, too busy doing donation, but oh my god, we're good. We're good. We're good. It's good. Everything's good. We're fine. It's on. Legion is Andrew from Florida playing. Favorite card is Quarantine Field. Favorite deck is White, is White Black Angel Vampires. Andrew, thanks for sub, my friend. Appreciate it. All right. Um. So now we get to do all sorts of cool stuff. Let's sack our. Let's float a mana. Sack Mox Pearl. Sack Soul Ring. Get back Mox Pearl. Mm. 
Mm, nope. We are never going to have a creature enter the battlefield that was not cast. It is of no concern to us. Sacrifice. Mock. Sacrifice. Wellspring. Get back. Soul Ring. Draw a card. Get that back. Play Soul Ring. Play Terrarian. Sacrifice Terrarian. Get back Mox Pearl. Draw a card. Play Mox Pearl. Flow mana, flow mana. Play Terrarian. Sack Terrarian. Wait, no, Sack Mox first. Sack Terrarian. Get back Mox. Draw a card. Wellspring is the nut. Uh, we have a one and a. About to have a zero. Gravity's Jim from New Jersey. Played during Ice Age, took a break, came back during M15. Corey Burkhardt's Chris Control, his favorite deck. Thalia for the puppy name. Jam, Jam, thanks, my friend. Good name, too. Alright, so we sacrifice the Wellspring. Get back the Terrarian. Uh, we saw Emmercool for a second, but it's not in our hand yet, so. Uh, play Terrarian. Sacrifice Terrarian. Get back Mox Pearl. Ancient Stirrings. Cool. Ironworks, Mirror Retriever. Oh, Prawn says. Oh, it's, Pawn is being being kind and uh, letting us just we just they just want to know our kill condition. So we told him it's ever cool. That was turn three, right? Pretty good. Pretty sweet. Uh look they're playing a blue deck. Want some gutter balls. I don't like those source spot shares at all. Dump explosives, I guess. Like, I don't know what explosives is gonna kill that we can't beat. You know, they could easily have Stony Silence or Null Rod. So, turn three in Vintage, you made it. Ah, uh, let's go, Rangers. Poets bringing in disallow. Here it comes. Don't use your bonus league, million little E. Yeah, they're gonna have no rod for sure, I agree. I mean, I guess I could bring in Nature's Claim and just try and float the mana. But, I mean, beating a, a no rod on the play seems almost impossible. They have counter spells and stuff too. Yep, you know, I can't bring a Worm Coil. They have uh, Source Pleasures. Workshop Emerald. This is a hand. Keep. If they got no rival to go to game three. It's axiom probe, sure. Let me have it. I'm ready. Possible like a mentor deck, right? Or something like that. No rod is Jim D. Fear. Agree. Would no rod be too good for modern? No. It would be just a sideboard card. Obviously it's you know, it's Easier to kill than Sony Silence. Um, obviously, any deck can play it. It would be good. It would be played heavily, but it would not be too good. Emmer Cool. Turn one, Tundra, go. Defense Grid is dope. Fence grid. Cast Ancestral Recall. There's the Joker. I wish we had a Joker in our deck. We do not.
It's even a Mox Emerald for our Ancient Stirrings. God, we're lucky. Um, we cast a Wellspring or Ancient Stirrings? I feel like we just cast a Wellspring. We cast Terrarian. I like Wellspring. We're probably getting Null Rotted or Stony Silence next turn, like 100% of the time. So it probably doesn't matter, but... Um, I think the Grizzle Brand deck is not going to happen because the, the viewer is not going to be able to watch it. So, standard goblins, we got no idea. Check out my article on StarCityGames.com today. Want to know about goblins and standard? There it is, StarCityGames.com. Legion War Boss, all about it. Check it out, StarCityGames.com. Synergy, like a boss. They actually just moved to discard, discarded land brainstorm. How did they discard brainstorm? Why they just cast it? What's going on? All right, they definitely have Bell Rod or Stony Silence. Let's try and win the game. Um, let's cast Angel Stirrings. Let's go. An opponent just didn't cast brainstorm. I don't understand why they wouldn't do that. Doesn't make any sense. Um, top. Ancient Tomb, Terrarian. Setting up a balance. I mean, maybe. I guess we're just playing top. We can go top, Terrarian, Spell Bomb, Land, Go, I guess. Just pray they miss for another turn. Might have F6'd, maybe. That's fair. What's up, Peace Bone? Happy Friday, TGIF. So, preordain. We're going to end step top into an ironworks and win the game. Preordain is not restricted, right? Ponder, brainstorm, probe are all restricted. They went top bottom. I think the jig is up here. Jim Fear. The other Emrakul? Yeah, you don't you want to just win the game. We're not just messing around here. I believe Mentor got restricted, right? Jim D. Fear. <gasps> Alright, so they probably have a counter spell. Um, top. Gutter Ball, Defense Grid, Mishra's Workshop. Good lord, can I shuffle my deck, please? Um. I mean, a second defense grid is cool, I guess. Kind of want to draw a card and then top again. We can't gutter ball. It's fine. Trawler, Workshop, Ironworks. Hello. Those are all pretty good. Um, we can do this. This works. 
No, we can't. Terrarian. That's a problem. Okay. I think we can do this here. I think we I think we got it. Um we got to No. So we need to draw a workshop and ironwork, so we can't activate our terrarian. We got nothing. We got nothing. We gotta wait till next turn. Um casting troll doesn't do anything, so yeah. Play second defense grid. Defense. Defense. And say go. And pray again. I can't imagine they have Stony or Null Rod because they haven't cast it yet. So. A lot of Jim D. Fear and Vintage. Time Walk. Explore. Do they have a Jace too or something? Without something else to go with that, Time Walk is terrible. So, God, here we go. Snapcaster Time Walk. I feel like Snapcaster Recall is much better. Win through Null Rod by naturally drawing Academy? It could happen. So they have the next two turns, but they don't have anything. They have a Snapcaster and three lands. Why not just rake Recall and uh, have many cards for your next turn? You know? Going on a cruise? I like cruises. Okay. I suppose having cruise makes sense. Just have another recall. How does Null Rod win us the game? Uh, Null Rod loses us the game. Ponder. Okay. Third turn. As they snap time walk. <laughs> Doctor Z, I remember that. Strip mine. Fair card. Fair card. What costs five? I don't know what's going on anymore. I haven't had a turn in a long time. They already cast Dig. They've already cast Dig. Maybe, maybe they didn't cast Dig yet. Was that last game? Yeah, that was the last game. Reality Smasher! By force. Destroying Defense Grid, Defense Grid, Mox Emerald, Icker Wellspring. Well, now they have a Force of Will, we're just dead. So that sucks, but... Oh yeah, we've, we've, got, we've got our ball. Never mind. Okay. I mean, our Ironworks doesn't do a ton, but...
Force of Will, Exiling. Yeah, there's some hateful artifact cards in this format. Exiling Mind Break Trap, Gutter Ball. Cool. Sack Terrarian, draw a card. Should be our Scrap Trawler. Uh, Bye Force is much better than Shattering Spree. They have, they have non-red sources. Play Trawler. And now we're just off to the races, right? What's our what's the loop here? It's like Retriever. Two mana, get back a thing, draw your whole deck or something, right? Uh, let's um draw sack get back mox emerald lands play mox make it green sacrifice the mox play we have ember cool now too dope What the hell was that? I clicked artifact spells and just used the mana from my... Whatever. Magic on, stupid. We win anyway. We did it! We won! We should have been 3-2. Um, we, I punted a match really, really badly, so we were 2-3. Um, nope, not this deck. Hold on. Nope, not Legacy. Alright, so. 1, 2, 3. Um, deck honestly seemed pretty busted. But at the same time, it is weak to Graveyard Hate and Artifact Hate. Both of which are extremely prevalent in, uh, in Vintage. Um, not playing Recall is egregious. Definitely want to Recall in this deck. Might even want a Sphere or two. I didn't like the tops that much, and the explosives also seem kind of like the main deck grids, but I could see maybe only playing two. I'm not sure. I mean, I honestly don't know nothing about Vintage, so I don't really have much to give as far as like good advice, but the deck seemed cool. We had a few turn two kills. Um, definitely playing Workshop, Ancient Tomb, and all this busted mana is pretty insane. Well, I clicked the actual artifact mana, like artifact only mana from Workshop, and it just like didn't even use it, which is weird. But um, so yeah, I think we're a little light on things that cycle and get the get the chain going. A few times we had Ironworks and Trawler and a bunch of mana, and just nothing to do, which is scary. So maybe a sphere or two. Um, I guess top sort of serves that role, but. I don't know. Deck seems cool. Might not even, I might not want explosives main deck either. You probably just want to be as linear as possible. Uh, it's not modern. You know, we're not trying to kill their their mightily, mightily mages. We're just trying to win the game on turn two every time. So, but deck seems sweet. I had a lot of fun. Uh, donation bonus link for Million Little E. Thank you once again, Million Little E, for your donation. I appreciate it very much. Um, and, uh, yeah. That's all I got. I have no constructive... Um, constructive feedback for this because frankly I don't play vintage but it was sweet so hopefully you enjoy watching this um, the stream will continue the YouTube video will not so if you're watching on YouTube make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, hopefully we'll see you on stream sometime bye YouTube